Okay, it's been a while since I've given this project some TLC. So today I'm going to give it a little bit of attention. Uh, over the last several months, I've had several people reach out to me and ask about hooking up a Raspberry Pi to an iMac G3 without the need to use the custom boards that you can get off of this repo. And so I went through this to try and get it to run on a Raspberry Pi 4, and I had some difficulty. However, I, I did figure it out, so I wanted to go over the steps so that um, you know this could be out there and someone else could do it. So first thing you want to do is go to the repo. I'll post it down below. Um, it's on GitHub, and there's the name of the repo. Scroll down and go to where it says preparing the Raspberry Pi. Okay. This is a diagram of how to hook your Raspberry Pi up to the CRT. However, um, there are some important things missing, but we'll go over that later. Um, what I'm going to do is going to open this up here in another tab so it's a little bigger and we can look at this later. Right now, let's just go over setting up the Raspberry Pi. All right, at this point, I'm assuming you've already installed Raspbian. It's updated and all that. You've connected it to your network. You have its IP address so that you can SSH to it. Um, you will need to enable SSH, or rather the SSH server. Without that, we will not be able to log into the computer via a terminal, PuTTY, or whatever. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and open a terminal. Okay, and I will SSH minus L my username. I know my IP address. I think it's not 56. Yes. All right. Now, I've already downloaded. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it again, actually. Okay, so we're logged in. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to have to enable I squared C. I'm not going to do that yet because I want you to see the error it produces when you don't do that. Okay. Um, up, I'm going to update. I can, I've already updated my... Um, my Raspberry Pi, but we'll go through this so you can see what you have to do. You just paste it in there. It'll do this sort of stuff here where it's checking. And then in my case, it's just going to say that it's already installed. Okay. Um, you're going to have to use pip, which is the Python installer package, uh, package manager. It's the Python package manager to install SMBus and RPI GPIO. And this is in order to use the I squared C uh, bus on there. That's what uh, this is for. And this is so you can use the GPIO or the pins that are on your Raspberry Pi. So we can physically connect to the iMac G3 later. So copy paste. Already installed, not an issue. You may have several versions of Python installed, so you can replace pip by, you know, pip2 or pip3, depending on which version you're using. All right. Let's clone the repo. This might take a little bit. All right. Then let's go into the directory just created and as soon as it lets me done why does it hang when it says done will it do that okay it did do that all right so now we're in there okay and what we want to do is we want to say what do what it says here you know we're going to copy this to this directory so this script here in it underscore iva underscore iva.py let's take a look at it real fast Okay, you can see at the top, we're importing uh, the GPIO um, package and we're importing the SM bus package. Okay, then the rest of it is just basically, you know, sending the initialization sequence uh, to the iMac for it to turn on the CRT. All right, so let's go ahead and copy it over. Okay, once copied. Yeah, it can take a little bit sometimes. Let's make sure it's executable. Okay. Then we're going to edit this guy there. This is a this is executed when it boots up. Now I've already edited and I've added this line in there. So you're gonna see it in there, but 
you can see where to put it. Okay, see so it goes down here in between the FI and the exit zero. If you put it after the exit zero, it will not run. So I'll just delete it real fast. So you can see where you have to copy it. So grab that, paste it in there. Once you're done, hit Control X, hit Y, and hit Enter, and it's saved. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, sometimes this is not executable. Let's make sure that the rc.local is executable. Put that in there. Great. Now, uh, let's edit the boot config, the config file. And this is where we're going to tell the Raspberry Pi um, to boot in a specific video mode so that the, res the uh, iMac G3 can actually display the information that it's receiving. So you come here where it says HDMI group and HDMI mode, and you're going to see that it's commented like this. Just remove those pound signs or hashtags, right? And then make sure this is 2, make sure this is 18. I know that in uh, in the repo here, I say to put it down at the bottom, and you can do that if you want. Let's take a look at it real fast, where it says all, but um, just to be a little neater, just put it where, where it expects it so you can find it easier later on, okay? Now, you can just hit Control X again, hit Y, and hit Enter, and it's saved. And so um, let's try and run this real fast, just to test it. It's gonna complain. Now, if you see this error, right, where it says file user local bin, blah, 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 line five in module SM bus not available, you either have, you have better not installed the SM bus module, which we did, or your I squared C is not enabled. Now you can do that by typing, you can do it in the GUI when you set everything up, or you can do it from here. Pseudo raspy config, actually, yeah, yeah raspy config. Then you go to interface options, over here, and then we go where it says I squared C here, and we enable it. All right, it says it's enabled. Hit OK, we finish, and let's run it again. And there you go. Now it's a different message, right? It says that blah 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 that it's trying to write, but there's an error, and this is normal. This is expected. What's happening here is that it's trying to talk to the iPad board, but since it's not wired in, and the CRT is not on, it cannot communicate, so it's complaining. So this is good. This is what we want to see. We're ready to boot, actually. Um, so now next, I'm going to go over actually wiring it up. I'm going to follow this guy. All right. So it looks like there are issues with the new Raspberry Pi OS and these types of, you know, display hacks or whatever. Um, so the new Raspberry Pi OS uses uh, something called the VC4 V3D driver. Not exactly sure what the difference is, but uh, there's a documentation that says that it's for DRM and that sort of stuff. I'm not 100% sure what it's for. But what I do know is that it causes video to go blank. Now I see this here um, with my Raspberry Pi 4 and the iMac G3, and there are lots of people complaining about that happening to their, you know, weird displays or whatever, even with the, the touchscreen that comes with the Raspberry Pi. So uh, we need to disable this and enable the fake one or the fake KMS, which is this one here. So. We're going to go back into this file here, the config.txt. All right. And then we're going to find this, or rather this guy here. Okay. And you see it right over here. So we're just going to comment that guy. Oops, got to use my keyboard. So let's copy this over here and add it right there. Oops, nope. That's right, right there. Okay, 
And so another thing is that the, the new Raspberry Pi OS ignores uh, video modes that are specified in the config.txt file if the edid sent from the monitor is corrupt or missing. We're not sending an edid, so we have to tell it that uh, to ignore edid information. If not, it overrides you know, and tries to do whatever it needs to do, which is a problem for us. So we're going to add, along with you know, the group and mode, we're going to add this line to tell the Pi or the OS to ignore corrupt or missing edid information coming from a monitor. So let's go down to the bottom. Okay. And that should be it. All right, let's wire up the Raspberry Pi. Now, first thing you need to do is go ahead and make yourself either a harness like I did, or you can just plug wires straight in there. Uh, either way, it'll work. Okay, I'm not gonna go over making a VGA cable because not all VGA cables are created the same. So go ahead and reference this little guide here I made so you can get an idea of how to build one. All right, next. Once you have that, um, we have to make sure that we have access to the correct pins to turn it on. Luckily, everything we need to turn the iMac uh, analog board on and to send it a video signal is located here in the J20 connector. Now, as you can see, I've written on here the name of the connector or what I've called it, J20. And then you see the pin numbers are here. One is on this side, which is that one there. This is two. Then it goes three, four, five, six, one, and so forth. So all of the odd pins are on this side here. All of the even pins are on this side here. And so uh, if you have the G3 in this orientation, the lower pin numbers will be down at the bottom, okay? And so um, if you just follow the guide for the J20 wiring, which I have here on several places, um, well, even this one, the one that I just brought up, you can see where to hook everything up. Now, what we are interested in is uh, right now, because I want to turn it on, we're going to be interested in number nine, which is the five volts. We're interested in, um, I'm sorry, that number, sorry. Number 10, PFW, number 12, which is the LP, right? And number six, which is the five volt. These are the three that you need to connect to turn on the CRT. Right, and so if you reference uh, this next one on how to turn it on, powering the CRT on and off, it's a little bit clearer. So you can see here that um, we want to connect these three, all right, and these three are the ones that I've colored that we need, okay, six, ten, and twelve, all right. So the order here is to connect those three, right and then you send it the initialization sequence. So before we, co we connect these three, let's wire up the Raspberry Pi, okay? You wanna find SDA on the J20 connector, you wanna find SCL on the J20 connector, and ground, okay? If you look at the J20 connector, these are the three that you'll need right there, okay? Now again, I've already made a wiring har uh, harness to be able to do this, so I'm gonna use that. I'm just going to assume that you are plugging things into the correct um, sockets there. So I'm just going to plug this in since I've already made it. I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the Raspberry Pi. And these are the three pins that we're going to use. I believe, yes. So on the Raspberry Pi, you need one, two, and three. I'm sorry, from the J20 connector, sorry. On the Pi, it's 3, 5, and 9, right? So this is 1, this is 3, this is 5, this is 7, and this is 9, okay? And I'm going to show how I connected them here. If I can get it on there. Well, let me see. Okay, there's my Raspberry Pi. So I can focus a little better. It's hard to see, but 
There it is. It's really hard to see. Okay. I've used the same color uh, wires that you see on the diagram here for clarity. <laughs> Although I don't know how clear this is actually looking in the video, uh, but it's clear for me. Actually, I did not use pink for ground. I used green for ground. But I did use I used yellow for SDA and I used black for SCL. Green is the ground. Okay. Now those go through here and they go into the correct pins here on the J20 connector. Okay. Next thing you want is you're going to want a good HDMI to VGA converter. Now I've used several of these things for this project. Some of them work, some of them don't. Confirm that yours works. I'm using for this one, this is a StarTac HDMI to VGA converter. Standard HDMI, but I have a micro or whatever that is, micro HDMI to standard HDMI adapter so I can use this, okay? Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, you know, grab your VGA cable, the one that you made, the one that's wired into the J20 connector, okay? Plug it into your converter, okay? Now, at this point, you can plug in the iMac to mains, right? And I'm gonna shut off my Raspberry Pi there. Plug this guy here. Okay, right now my Raspberry Pi is wired. The iMac is plugged into mains. Okay, and now what we have to do is go back to this diagram over here so we can power it. All right, I've already shorted two of the cables together. You can see them here. I'm using a resistor leg to short them. Okay, you can use a wire, you can use anything, you know, as long as you short these two, or rather there's three. So the ones that I've shorted here, this is the PFW that you saw there. Okay, this is LP. And now I need to add five volts. Okay, once I do that, all right, you'll sh you should hear a conk on here. The iMac is on. Now we need to boot the Pi so it can send the initialization code. So now let's let's look at the front of this thing. All right, doesn't look great because this this monitor is messed up. But now I'm going to turn on the Pi. I don't hear anything just yet, but the monitor is on. Okay, now I heard a click. That means it sent the. Uh, initialization sequence and we saw a flash on the screen and there we go it booted up now it doesn't look great like I was saying my monitor is a bit tweaked it's a bit messed up um, you know, the beams aren't aligned or anything like that and furthermore uh, you know I haven't adjusted any of the, of the settings it's just sending this you know, this setting information that's in um, that uh, Python script that we just just started. And that's something for another video. But for now, there should be enough information to get this started. So good luck.